Right. I know you wonder why immigrants come over to the United States and they seem like they got an upper hand. They got a lot of help. But here's why. After World War II, pressure from the White House and Department of State Congress authorized submission of for refugees, the keyword refugees. They always use that term when it comes down to allowing these people to come in freely. From European and uh, permitted asylum, seekers already in the United U.S. to regularize their status, right? What group of people did this law intend to assist? What requirements did displacement person have to meet in order to secure a visa? So let's go down to the summary. In contrast to widespread public and political indifference, before World War II, after the war, under pressure from the White House and the Department of State, Congress authorized Admission of for refugees from Europe and permitted asylum seekers already in the United States to regularize their status. This temporary bill provided for admission of 200,000 displaced persons in an attempt to favor Catholic and Protestant refugees over Jewish ones by attacking preference for ag agriculture workers. It says, although Asians, refugees, no, uh, receive no refugee visas, the act enabled several thousand Chinese already residing in the United States to gain legal permanent status by claiming asylum. Many were considered worth keeping away from China communist leaders as they were highly educated as well connected strategy skills and knowledge. So the government of the United States as president shall designate regarding such a uh, person's character, history, which is lineage, and eligibility under this act. The burden of proof shall be upon the person who seeks to, to, uh, seeks to establish. So this act alone basically gave the leeway for immigrants from there on out. And that's why the inflow of, of immigration acts and immigrants coming in with a, with a step up, with a stepping stool. It was because of this act right here. This alone caused the United States to become a melting pot. There were several acts passed in the 1946 to 1948 and 49 that changed the structure of the world. Stay tuned. Part 2 coming.